Hey everybody and Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Now before we get too far into this, I want to show you guys something new. Check out our new intro. I did. Yeah, I did too. If you liked it, let us know in the comments below. Interesting fact, every single video clip in the intro was shot on our trip to Yellowstone. We will edit those videos one day. One day. With that out of the way, let's talk about why we're here. It's a new year. It's 2021. Which means everything is magically fixed, right? The garage is clean. The house is organized. <laughs> The budget is balanced. Well, you know, like, the house is better than it was two days ago. Yes. Okay, so that's not actually true. Just because it's 2021 does not mean everything has changed. However, as people do, we tend to start new things at the beginning of the year. In November, we went on a date night, and mm -hmm. we stopped in at a used bookstore, and we found this handy little book here called One Year to an Organized Life. And the author is Regina Leeds. And I was like, oh, we've been wanting to get our life a little bit more organized, so we'll just buy it and see what we can do with it. I love to organize, she and does. so our house is pretty much organized, but you know, there's always those spaces that need a little extra help. I know you might be thinking this is like 2021's Marie Kondo. It's not. This is not just about how to pile your stuff on the bed and and get rid of stuff get on your knees want. and tell it thank you and goodbye <laughs> we did watch that great show this is actually more than just organizing your things in fact the very first chapter speaks to me very well because it's talking about time management which is something i need to get better at we are going to share updates about how our organized life journey is going in our vlogs every now and then we're going to try to update as much as we can but it will not be every week but I will be putting updates on my own personal Instagram, and I'll put that in the description down below if you want to follow along. We've already started the book, but we're just super excited to keep going with it and see where we are on December 31st, 2021. One thing I really like about this book is that it's not a one and done, do this and you're organized. Mm -hmm. And it also isn't an A through Z, you know, you gotta start January 1. My understanding of the book is that whatever month you pick it up at, you just start from that week and you just go through the chapters and eventually you'll go all the way through and you'll start to get organized. So for January, the two themes that they cover is understanding time management and working on the kitchen. And then week one, you go through why you are like you are with time management. Week two, you create schedules and routines. Week three, you answer questions about your kitchen. And week four, you get your kitchen into shape. So we aren't actually organizing anything physically until the end of the month. I think to both of us, it seems very well-rounded mm -hmm. as far as getting your entire life emotionally, physically, and mentally organized. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited about that. Yes. And then to go along with it, we I haven't read this book yet, but this goes along with, most of you may have seen it on Netflix. The This is 2020 um, Marie Kondo. Is it the home edit? Yeah, it's the home edit. The home edit on Netflix. And we watched, I pretty much binged watched it because I absolutely love what they do. I would do it for my job if I could. I got this book for Christmas and it goes in sections of, you know, kitchen, bathroom, laundry, closets, play spaces. And as we go through each each section in the book we are going to just go through that section in the home edit book and get some ideas we're just excited to start this journey and share it with you so you may have noticed that we didn't quite get 31 videos published for vlogmas although in our introduction video I said even if we can get out half and I think we got out 17? 18 18 or 19 yeah we did a lot I was impressed Kim spent a lot of December editing the videos for that and I spent some time working on the intro and we didn't quite make it we wanted to and so kind of as our penance for not getting it done Kim promised that we would eat fruitcake and yeah. so we made a video of us eating fruitcake with her family in Louisiana and that'll be our last vlogmas video 
You also may have noticed some of our last Vlogmas videos were not the typical format. Somehow somebody snuck two coffee videos in there and that's because I was doing some editing so I apologize for that but we needed some content. If you don't like it, put it in the comments below. Tell me you never want to watch a coffee video again. If you did, I'll make more. And I think by getting our 19 videos out, it really showed us over a matter of 31 days. I think the biggest thing it taught us is that we can be more consistent with our videos throughout the year. So thank you guys for being subscribers, for watching watching our channel. We hope you guys like what we're doing. We're still kind of finding our niche a little bit, but that's okay. We like making videos. It's fun for us as a family. It's a fun way for us to show people what we're up to, and it's kind of a nice creative outlet. We've been talking a lot over the last probably six months about where we want to take our YouTube channel, and we're still trying to figure it out. I think we're going to be throwing out some new ideas over the next few months. We're just trying to take it away from mostly vlog life and throwing some other planned things in along with vlog life. So if you guys like any of the videos that we're going to be making, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below because we want your feedback as we kind of experiment with where we're taking our channel. It would be very helpful for us mm -hmm. to know what you guys like to watch. So if you guys like this video, you like our channel, give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We look forward to seeing you guys in our next video. Happy 2021 to you. And don't forget to follow our Instagrams below. I'll put my own personal Instagram and our Peter's family Instagram down below. So you can keep up with our organized life. And if you like those coffee videos, I've been posting pictures on an Instagram I started at Josiah D. Peters of the latte art that I'm making at. Follow Kim, follow the Peters family, follow me. See you later. Bye. Bye.